Hello guys, good morning my students, hey, wherever you are in the world, today we are learning still we are in empirical formula because empirical formula can come in a different fashion, that's why I am I'm exhausting it, I want to, each and every question related with empirical formula, I don't want you to fail it, I want each and every one, each and every question that you pass, you meet, you pass in the exam, even I'm, I'm looking for a provision box, so assemble, we have example 4, a sample of hydrocarbon of mass 5.51.2 gram was analyzed and found to contain 12.8 grams hydrogen. If the formula of the hydrocarbon is CX and uh, this is CX, eh? CX, sorry, still my band is not stable. Let me stabilize the band. Let me stabilize the band. Okay. We have CX, if you see, small x and uh, HY. So find the value of X and, uh, and Y. So this question is a little bit tricky and uh, they can bring the exam. We have a hydrocarbon. So this hydrocarbon, the total mass, the total mass, total mass of the hydrocarbon, which is CX and H, why the total mass is 51.2 51.2 gram okay now they are saying and was analyzed found to contain 12.8 gram of hydrogen so the value of the hydrogen hydrogen mass of hydrogen mass of Hydrogen, which is HY, we don't know, eh? this HY, eh? this HY, its value is to all of 0.8 gram. Okay, if the total value of both of them is 51.2 gram, and you have one of the value of, of Y to all of 0.8 gram, can you get the value of X? Yes, you can get it. How do you do? This is what you do. You will say it, total minus this value to get the value of x so mass of mass of x sorry mass of cx eh? mass of cx which is the carbon is equal to the total mass minus the mass of the hydrogen which is 51.2 gram minus the mass of the hydrogen which is 12.8 gram so when you subtract what do you get use the calculator please when you subtract what do you get let me use my calculator my calculator my calculator please please head up 151.2 minus 12.8 so the value is what we get is 38 38.4 gram 38.4 gram that's what we get okay if we have now 38.4 gram we can now do it we can now calculate the value of x and y in the hydrocarbon. What do you do then now? We, we, we use empirical formula. So element, we write element. Element, here we have two elements. C and Y. So carbon and hydrogen. Not Y. That what we find is the value of x and y, which is the value of the hydrocarbons, eh? the remote ratio of the hydrocarbons. C, which is carbon and hydrogen, these are the elements. We have mass of the element. We don't have percentage mass this time, we have mass. What's the mass of the of the carbon? We have obtained right now, it's 38.4. And that of hydrogen, we have, they have given us here 12.8 gram. 12.8 okay we need again to see molar mass molar mass 
So the molar mass of carbon in the bracket we have 12. And that of hydrogen is 1. Then again we need number of moles. Number of moles. What's happening in my pen? My pen is not working today. What happened? Okay. Number of moles. Let me make it clear. Okay. Number of moles. The number of moles will be you divide the mass which is 38.4 divide by 12 here 12 point 0.8 divide by 1 so what do we get let me use the other side of the blackboard okay when you divide 38 when you divide 38 38.8 38.4 divided by 12 you'll get 3.2 .3 where this one 12.8 divided by 1 it's the same it will be 12.8 okay now how do you get mole ratio now next is mole ratio mole ratio the mole ratio is you divide the smallest both sides 3.2 and 12.8 which one is smaller 3.2 so we divide both sides by 3.2 here we also divide 3.2 then this is already 1 we see it mole ratio is 1 then 12.8 divided by 3.2 but you get 4 the value is 4 therefore C will be C will be 1 and H will be 4 the empirical formula so that means the value of X which was which was at C here in this question we were having here X at C is equal to 1 and Y which was at H is equal to 4 so that's how you get the value of x and y and y okay i hope you understood you have understood it please share and subscribe